Good morning, happy Vlogmas Day 9. Gosh, it really is flying by. Um, feeling a little bit more of me today. I don't know what was wrong with me yesterday. I wasn't just feeling it yesterday. Anyway, let's do the advent calendar before we do anything else. So I've got my basket. The pile is definitely getting smaller in here. I was about to say, is that a six or a nine? But six will have gone, won't it? Mm. Okay, so number nine. Let's have a little look at what's inside. Ooh, so I've got a, a sticker sheet. Now it's going to do its not focusing thing again, isn't it? Please ignore my nails, they really need doing at the moment. If this isn't working, then I will edit. There we go. So that's the sticker sheet there. Let's have a look. It says, uh, I've got a happy hooker and crochet. And that's actually the same pattern on there that's on the key ring I had on day one. Um, two little ones with yarn balls. Hobbies, one crochet, two collecting yarn. And then another one that says uh, crochet queen with the ball of yarn underneath. So fab! Actually, I might use some of those in my new planner. That'll be really cool. Right, so I pulled out um, all of my Christmas stuff that I have upstairs. Um, there are various boxes around the house. <laughs> we haven't quite found where the Christmas decorations are going to live yet. Um, but there's some in my son's room and there's some in the hall cupboards and bits up here so we said we were going to decorate next week in the lounge so I may have extra bits that I add to this room but I think I might make a start on the decorating so I have if you saw my um, craft fair video you would have seen these lights and they're the same lights that I have uh, on display so they're a warm light with their little white berries the plug in and they've got a little on off switch. Now I'm hoping this bit might be long enough. I'm thinking about wrapping them around the beam so I've got a beam here and there's one behind me there that you can't quite see at the moment. There it is! <laughs> so I'm thinking if I can get them to stretch far enough. So I've got three of those so I could have one on each beam and then one on the table that's behind my desk because there's one on the other two calyxes but not on that one and I thought I might put some decorations on there as well. So there's three light things to go up. Now I bought these last year in um, Hobbycraft sale. Best time to go to Hobbycraft when they have a sale. It can be so expensive. So these lovely cute little Christmas trees and I've got two of those so I'm thinking they might be end pieces to a display with some bits around them so they're going to go up somewhere as well let's put that with the other ones about to fall over there you go uh, so these can be all sorts of things they are done in non-traditional Christmas colors um, I've had them all year round in glass vases and things you could have them as juggling balls um, but I think they're quite festive in a fun sort of Scandi kind of way. That one was done in my uh, my brand colours. <laughs> so they'll go out somewhere as well. Um, now these I made, you know, I said the other day that my uh, fifth friend shop changed with lots of things that it used to sell. So I used to sell these and it says, do you want to have a snowball fight? And then inside are pom-poms. So I think there were six pom-poms in there. And I also made brown ones and it had reindeer poop fight. And I did uh, variegated stripy pastel yarn and that was a unicorn poo fight. Um, they used to sell quite well. I have, uh, I think, one or two of these leftover stock. So, um, yeah, might... I might put those out next year. Didn't have much time to prep for the craft fair this year because I wasn't expecting to do it. So I might do a big sort of sale thing next year, maybe. Uh, oh, so 
oh these are crocheted ones so there's little noel these might look quite nice on the uh, on the beams so there's noel there and Ho ho ho! So I have a, a pattern video on here with, I think I did it as a rain, rainbow bunting, but it's exactly the same pattern. So if you wanted to do something similar, I'll, I'll put a link in the cards and in the description. So if you wanted to make your own Christmas bunting or even get ready for summer, um, I'll put the pattern up there for you. So that could go on another beam. There's a little crochet Christmas stocking. Not quite sure where the pattern for that one came from. I think that might have been one I was just having a play around with to see how it worked. Not as nice as the stocking I, I made for uh, the garland. And there's a little snowflake. In this time of year you get lots of, lots of little free patterns come out. So there's a snowflake there. So he might go somewhere. So I've seen a few of these appearing on uh, Instagram. People are tagging me on Instagram with their makes. These just crack me up, frankly. These are the pigs in blankets. This year, for some reason, um, actual pigs, you know, with ears and eyes and noses and things, wrapped in a blanket seems to be a thing. Um, I don't know, it's a little bit too close to home for me. If, the animal and the meats and mm. anyway so these little guys are tree decorations I'll put all the the patterns below there's left and right handed patterns for these um, in my Christmas patterns playlist so there's those and then there's also the Christmas puddings there's the pattern for those and the uh, little carrots. Yeah. <laughs> I just think they're funny. So I had um, a tree in the kitchen last year. I never decorate my kitchen. Um, and I thought, right, I'm going to have a tree in the kitchen of Christmas food. So I had these guys and these, and I got a couple of uh, Christmas puddings. And I think I need to make more. I'm not going to do that this year. I haven't got time to do that this year. But they, they just needed a bit more on there. But with the lights and I added a couple of extra baubly things, they seem to be all right. So um, you just love the faces on them. They're so cute. So they need to go up. But I, I might just leave those ones to go in the kitchen like I did last year. Uh, oh, and I made, made a sprout as well. But that was from the, um, the Kwai crochet book. Um, again, I'll put a link in the description for that one. So he's really cute as well. And this little fella, you may remember, he just get his hat on. You remember that noise? <laughs> Jingle, the cheeky elf. So he has to definitely go up somewhere. Hey mate, how you doing? So they're the sort of crocheted things. Um, I have various tins. I keep all the tins, especially cute ones like this. It's from Mr. Fox on it. But I just think they're quite nice to store your decorations in. But they also look quite nice as a display, especially if you're doing sort of flat lays and photos of your crochet work. I always hang on to those. And um, these are something that I used to sell. So they're little, um, little bags, red bags, you can't really hear the bell, there's a bell in there and it says the bell still rings for those who truly believe and they're good for Christmas decorations. So I may or may not reuse these for something, I'm not sure, I've got some other ones that are white with the um, little drawstring, so more Father Christmassy and then more mutual Christmas as we say <laughs> so there's those and another snowball fight I thought I had two uh, lots of these Father Christmas things 
Oh, I've got some LED candles as well. I don't know if they've got batteries in them. So I've got these little candles. I don't think they have got batteries in. But they can go in the centre of wreaths. Really, really good if you've got kids. Oh, yeah, they've got a little on-off switch in there. Um, and because the flame is so low, you don't really notice. I mean, obviously you come up close and it's obviously a plastic candle. But from a distance, it's just a lovely pillar candle. So they're cute. Let me go out somewhere. Um, now I picked these up at a craft fair one year. And I don't know if they're... They were machine cut by the person I bought them from, or if they were shop bought. But they're little stags. And the way I saw this, it's funny how you can sometimes see things differently. So there's the antlers, and there's his ears, his head, and his sort of chest area. And then I thought, actually, if you just put a little red nose on there and two googly eyes, <laughs> it would just be a Rudolph head. Anyway, so they might go up somewhere. In fact, they will go up somewhere, I'm just not sure where. Um, we've got some more Christmas lights. One of these ones. So these are just normal lights. Probably won't put these up in here because they've got green. They always look better on the Christmas tree, these ones, because they've got the, the green gets hidden. So they're probably ones to go downstairs. I'll put those to the other side. Um, more tins. In fact, I've got two of these. I actually have these as my button tins. Um, but they're very cute as well. And another one there with Christmas tree on it. Oh! So this is a, um, a knitted mug warmer. Um, if you are in the uh, Basingstoke area, and I think it was this weekend, uh, Dolly's Market um, is one of the best craft fairs I've ever done. Got to a point that I was actually only doing the couple of Dolly's Markets that were happening each year. Anyway, the lovely Genevieve who organises Dolly's, or used to organise it, I think she's, she's moved now. Um, her nan used to make these and she would spend the whole year knitting little toys and things you know, similar to, to this sort of thing she, she had hundreds and hundreds of things she would spend the whole year doing it and then she would be at the craft fair um, displaying her wares and everything was for charity um, and she must have been well she was definitely in her 80s and she was there throughout the whole craft fair and it was a couple of years ago, my store was next to hers. So we we spent a lot of time that day chatting. And at the end, um, she gave me a mug with a little bird on the handle. Um, I'll show you that another time. Um, with, with this on, to say thank you for being so friendly and looking after in the fair. Because I was going to get a cups of tea and things. And looking after a stall when she popped off to the loo and what have you. Lovely lady, really sweet. Um, yeah, so I, I, I keep that just to remind myself of her. That's lovely. I'd forgotten that was there. Right, what else have we got in here? Ah, I was looking for this for the craft fair the other day. So my Christmas tablecloth. It's actually just a long piece of fabric um, that I used to put out on my craft store. And when I finished the craft fairs for the season, I used to give it a wash and then use it as my Christmas tablecloth because it's a really nice simple design so that's going to get washed and used and put out on Christmas Day nice what else have we got in here? some gift tags little reindeer do, 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 do. I think that's it in this box oh, there's another little little tin Christmassy tin in fact there's more Christmassy tins oh my goodness so there's tins within tins here. So there's a little sweetie one, and there's this one where you've got to twist things around. 
I might actually use these in my son's room. I think he might like to uh, he might like to decorate his room this year. Center in his pants. Oh, so that's child appropriate. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. Indoor unicorn poop fight. That's one of the bags from the, the snowball fight game. Oh, and there's some IKEA. Some IKEA gift tags. You can make a sort of garland with. I think I'd actually bought those for school and not used those. And then these came on a, my Christmas present for my head teacher last year. It was a lovely glass with some prosecco and a drink. And oh, I think it, that was it was the Christmas party. We did a Zoom Christmas party last year, and we all had these. And most of us ended up wearing them as earrings. And we had um, little origami um, games to do. We had a competition who could get the origami made quickest. And, there was no reindeer and I think it was a penguin and something else. So, um, yeah, reminders of good times. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that seems to be it. It's just repetition there. And there's some Christmas um, ribbon. Right, so today will involve a bit of decorating. I have some Etsy orders to get out and potentially a trip to the DIY shop uh, to buy some bathroom paints for our ensuite. I haven't quite decided on the colour, but I'm thinking a sort of warm, neutrally colour. They're like beigey grey tiles, so something in keeping with that. I'll let you know. Better get on with some work, see you in a bit. So, um, I said before, my elephant notebooks do really well, so I've got a couple of orders to go out today of elephants. Normally I have everything made up um, beforehand, but I sold out on the craft fair, so it's gonna make a few more elephants. So that's the crocheting bit of the elephant done. I just need to sew his eye on and attach him to the book. And I'll show you the finished bit in a second. So the notebook is finished. How lovely is he? This is one of the A5 notebooks. Um, beautiful little elephant. As I said, this is one of my best sellers. So I just need two packages up uh, along with the others and take it to the post office later probably on our way to B&Q. Right, I'm going to sign off now and uh, I will catch you later this afternoon. So that all took slightly longer than expected. Um, it was supposed to be a quick trip to B&Q that turned out into a trip to B&Q, to Screwfix, to Lidl, because we suddenly remembered we didn't have any food. And yeah, so it's now half four. <laughs> but I did manage to get these done because these are really simple and quick. 
So the stockings are here and then today's make was to make two little bows and the idea is then that the bows go on the stockings and I think tomorrow's um, bells to go in there which I might actually start tonight um, just because they look complicated <laughs> and they're sort of arigurumi ar um, too tired to say that now <laughs> Um, so they sort of hang down from there, so that's lovely. These are gorgeous though, I actually, I really do wish they would fit my feet. They just feel so nice. It's really lovely cotton. So I think that's the Yarns and Colours cotton in there. Um, and on uh, Father Christmas updates, I'm on row 15. So I managed to get a few rows done last night. Oops that way around isn't it um, after my failed attempt and having to restart it because of the the jagged edges but uh, we're still on track for straight edges which is nice so that's that right so I didn't get the decorating done um, maybe that'll be tomorrow's job maybe it'll be a weekend job tomorrow's my last day before my son breaks up from school uh, so we end up with three and a bit weeks, three weeks and four days I think it is, of um, holidays which seems like a really long time. Uh, so we've got lots of fun things planned over the next couple of weeks to do with him uh, and also some downtime as well for all of us. Um, I'm thinking I might actually take between Christmas Eve, so I've finished my Vlogmas Christmas Eve until maybe the 2nd of January just take that week off and do nothing so because I normally do a Friday video and Friday will be New Year's Eve so it might be a case that I do a, a Father Christmas update vlog let you know how I'm getting on because I'll have had that week to do uh, do some crocheting and things although we have got family and things happening family coming and things happening not family and things <laughs> um, yeah Anyway, so I'm going to sign off now. I shall see you tomorrow for what will be on day 10 of Vlogmas. Have a lovely evening and happy hooking!